Hey guys, Ashton here and welcome to this episode where we'll be sharing with you how to make your own food vlogs. I've always loved food and food content and it came to a point where I wanted to share it with others too. Hopefully this video helps to point you in the right direction of making your own food vlogs. Before making the video. Before entering the eatery, ensure you've asked them for permission to shoot inside, especially if you're planning to get shots in the kitchen. Having the right gear is important too. A lightweight and versatile setup lets you move around the eatery easily and enables you to grab the best angles quickly. My camera and lens setup for my food vlogs is the Sony Alpha 7 Mark IV with the 20-70mm f4 G lens that boasts a very useful zoom range to highlight various perspectives from wide angles to close-ups. And for audio, the compact cable and battery-free B10 shines in this scenario. Just pop it into the multi-interface shoe on your camera, dial in your audio settings, and you're ready to rumble with the next dish served. Making the video. Introduce your location by starting with a couple of exterior shots that lead into the interior ambiance of the eatery. You can also highlight unique selling points of the location after the introduction. You can also capture ambient sounds of the location to help set the mood. For crisp and clear ambient sound recording, you can flip the switch to omnidirectional. Omnidirectional, which picks up sounds equally from all directions, is useful for recording environmental sounds. Now, people want to know more about what this eatery has to offer, and getting a quick glimpse of the menu is always great at this point. Pan your camera over the menu at a comfortable pace for viewers to get a good look at it. Not too slow or they'll get bored. It's always a great idea to highlight the specials and the chef's recommendations. With your order on the way, it's time to see the inner workings of the kitchen and capture behind the scenes footage of the chef and their crew preparing the dishes. Flip the pickup pattern to unidirectional so that you can capture a wider directional cone of audio. I recommend shooting at 4K 50p so that you have the option to slow down the footage while you are editing, in case you move too fast while you are shooting. Remember to start with your wider establishing shots and then slowly work your way into close-ups, showing the details of the ingredients, technique, process, and even the chef that will help drive the narrative of your vlog. That is where the versatile 20-70mm f4G lens shines, covering the wide angles to close-up shots in a single lens. Some good shots to include can be of the chef preparing raw ingredients like marinating or cutting and the techniques used. Open flames and food in the pan are also great for visuals and audio. Stick the camera closer while the food is being cooked to capture those nice sizzling sounds that's music to the ears. You'll probably be moving around fairly quickly in the kitchen to keep up the pace of everything going on. And that's where the anti-shock and vibration mount on the B10 will help your audio be rid of those awkward bumping and bounce sounds. The dust and moisture resistant construction also ensures the mic lifts to record quality audio another day. Once you're done collecting shots of the cooking process, it's time to shoot the final product. A compilation of quick clips starting with wider shots and then close-up details is usually a great way to showcase any dish. After that, it's time to dig in and enjoy the meal. Set the B10 settings to super directional for a full pickup of delicious sounds and expressions. Note that there is the attenuator and volume dial on the rear panel that makes for intuitive but detailed audio adjustments on the fly. Finishing the video. To wrap things up, give your review of the eatery and perhaps even recommendations. Share about how you feel about the place and your opinions. Lastly, don't forget to pay before you leave. I hope this little nugget of advice will help you guys on your creative journey to making your very own food vlogs. That's it for me. Cheers. Sunny.